I got the idea for the screenplay Roar Rim when I had gone to an estate sale in downtown Dallas and I was at a very old dilapidated house and I came across this old hand mirror and I began looking at it and thought it was really beautiful but I started thinking I wonder how many people had looked into that mirror and who and then I began to wonder what if a mirror showed you what it had seen over its lifetime and what if it could tell you a story the story is about a family Rachel and Richie Reynolds and Ivy Reynolds that move into their new home which was actually owned um, by the former mayor of a small Texas town I'm Tim Newkirk and I'm playing the role of Martin Mabry what attracted me to the uh, story uh, was the small town feel, the characters. It's a really a character-driven story, and um, there is a mystery. And uh, my character uh, used to be the mayor, but he still enjoys the limelight of uh, the small town notoriety that he gets uh, being the ex-mayor. I'm Olivia Stem, playing the role of Olivia Rose Mabry. What really attracted me to the role of Olivia Rose Mabry was just the dynamics of her relationship with her husband, uh, Mayor Martin Mabry, um, and just the difficulties she faces within that, that relationship. My name is Zion Amethyst and I play the role of Ivy Reynolds. She loves chocolate pie, Chinese food, and she has sleep disorders, parasomnias, sleepwalking, and night terrors. I'm Kate Mullen, and I play Iris, the diner waitress. I love Iris, the diner waitress, because she and I have a mutual affinity for chocolate pie. <laughs> My name is Kara Rayner, and I'm playing the role of Rachel. So I began my filmmaking journey, decided that we could make a film, and step by step, and rewrite by rewrite, here we are, we are ready to make our film. This is where you can help. Help us tell the story. We need your help to get our movie off of the computer screen, off of the screenplay, and on to the big screen. In return for your financial help, uh, for any donation that you're able to give, you will be rewarded for some type of perk. For example, a dollar. Consider yourself hugged. Come on, bring it here. At the $25 level, you will receive a digital preview of the trailer before anyone else gets to see it. As well, you will get a virtual kiss from the cast. Mwah! At the $100 level, you will receive a signed poster by the cast and crew, and you will be thanked on our Facebook page in a video, actually. We will say your name and thank you there on the Facebook page, or we can take it a step further, and at the $250 level, you will be thanked on our video, but I will also say a sentence of your choosing about you, well, as long as it's not disgusting or gross or anything like that. But for example, let's say that your name is, um, oh, Clint Eastwood, maybe, and you wanted me to say um, something like, Thank you, Clint Eastwood, so much for your generous donation. We really, really appreciate it. You stud of a man and living legend, you made my day, punk. For $500, you want to be a sponsor? Let's talk. Your logo here. Or here. You don't mind that, right? Uh, so there'll be many different levels of perks and price ranges. A signed autographed copy of the original script. Two tickets to the film premiere. Join us at the red carpet premiere. If you have nothing else better to do with your money, say you'd like to give us $20,000 to help us make our movie, you will get all of those other perks, plus get your milk and cookies ready. I will personally read the screenplay to you. So we want you to join our small town. Every dollar amount helps. So please, do what you can and be part of this film project. Can you tell 10 people? That's all, just 10. You're gonna love this movie. Wait, now did you tell 10 friends? 
Thank you for your help and support.